Today, I'll show you how to sell on Vinted, a popular secondhand marketplace in Europe. Now, it's not as well known in the US compared to eBay or Poshmark, but on Vinted, there are no selling fees and the buyer pays for shipping. However, I do want you to be aware that Vinted does not allow commercial selling. So if you have a legal business, you won't be able to sell as one. Instead, you have to sell as an individual. Now, there is nothing on Vinted's help center that prohibits users from selling for a profit, aka resellers. Instead, it prohibits formal businesses in some specific business-related activities such as the resale of items, purchase in bulk, drop shipping, selling custom items made to order, and the use of stock images or professional images. sign up on their website or download the app from the Apple Store or Google Play. Now, before you do anything, I strongly recommend to first optimize your profile to show you're a real person. So let me go ahead and walk you through on how to do that. This is my screen right here. From here at the bottom where you can see profile, you click on that, go to settings, profile details, and from here, I've already uploaded a photo of me as well as an about me section. Um, for the about me section, you can include, you know, if it's a smoke, smoke free or a pet free home. And when do you typically do your delivery or your drop off? So once you've optimized your profile, then the next step that I highly recommend for you to do is input your shipping address. So it can calculate the shipping price for the buyer. In the US, the only shipping option that we have is the postal office. Now let's go ahead and post an item together. So go ahead and click sell right there at the bottom center. You can upload up to 20 photos. So I already have my photos here. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay, cool. And then for the title, for the title, it doesn't seem to have a limit. I'm assuming the limit is 80 characters. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste the, the title that I have for all of my, for all of my platform. And same thing for, and same thing for the description here. So once you have the title and the description, let's go ahead and go to category. Now it does do the suggested, um, like a suggested category for it, but this is clearly not a men's clothing tank top or t-shirt. So let's go ahead and do women clothing tops and t-shirts. Uh, here's a tank top, the brand. Now, I must say that the suggested is very good. So no band boundaries, size. This was a, what was this? I believe it was a small. Let me just double check. Now I don't, can't remember the size. Okay, it was a small. It's a small junior. So one thing I did notice in the size selection, it does not have a a junior size. So let me just go ahead and use this one, size four, small for measurements. Oh, you can input the width and the length. So let me go ahead and do that right now. First, let me grab that information. So this one will be 18 inches, whoops. Actually, no, it's not 18. Move. 17 and the length is 23. Okay, condition. This is new without tags. Color. Mm. Uh, coral or orange. I would say just to be on the safe side, I'll list it as orange. Go ahead and done. 
materials. This one is cotton and polyester. Yeah, the only thing that the only thing that I don't like about this is that it's very manual and there's no like on this top part right here where you can just quickly do a filter so you actually have to scroll and look for the words but this is what it is um all right so let's do price and it, uh, it does it's very similar to poshmark where it does give you like similar sold items for that price um so i'll just put it for five dollars see what it takes us then parcel size so the recommended is small. Yep, that is correct. But done. Now bump item for from a dollar fifty. So let's go ahead and click that. So I'm assuming this is like their pro promotional tool. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Promotional tool. Other three to seven consecutive days, whichever comes first. Reach the right members. Yeah, so it's very similar to Macari, where you can pay for, where you can pay for essentially visibility. I'm not gonna do that. What do you think of our upload process? Up. Well, let's go ahead and click upload. Okay. So let's take a look. So I already did one. Um, it does at least give you a, how many people viewed it and favorites, but let's take a look. Okay. Very basic. Boundaries. Let's see. Mm hmm. Just now, just need to show you a payment option. I don't know how it would look like on somebody who's looking at the profile. And then reviews. Obviously, I don't have any more. I don't have any reviews. Okay, verified info, email, or Google. Okay, so yeah, it listing on listing in Vinted is very straightforward. So let's take a look at what other people are doing. So this is in my news feed. Wow, this is a huge seller. So let's see. Okay, includes buyer protection. So let's see what buyer protection is. Okay, the buyer protection. So I'm assuming that this is technically the seller fees. So with the buyer protection, you pretty much are covered up to two days if you submit a claim and you get a refund. Um, if the item was never shipped, or it was lost, it arrived damaged or significantly not as described. Uh, secure payments. Uh, you get their chat support. Okay, cool. And let's see how. Okay, so this was five hours ago. So payment options. I'm assuming that I could pay with a bank card or Apple Pay. And then I'll automatically pay for the shipping. So that's good news. Okay. I can set up a, you can do a bundle. That's great. Now let's do make an offer. Okay. I love the fact that sell or buyers have 25 offers per day. So that way you're not, you know, you don't have like a, a buyer that's just giving out low offers throughout the whole day. So they do limit how many can you make an offer. Next one is what we're gonna do is I'm going to set up a bundle discount. Okay, so it automatically does a 25, 30, and 50. That's fine with me. Uh, you can even do a donation, which I'm not gonna do right now. Vacation mode. Okay, cool. So, there you have it. Shipping is simple in Vinted. You'll receive an email with the shipping label and you have up to five days to ship the item. And the buyer has up to two days after the delivery to confirm receipt and examine the item. Um, within that two days, they can file a claim for a refund or for a return if what you described the item is 
significantly wrong. Now, if they do not open a claim, the pending payment moves to your available balance. So let me show you what that is. You'll see your pending balance at the top and once after the two days and the buyer did not file a claim or for a return, but then that pending balance will move into your available balance. And from there, you can transfer the balance to your bank account. Vinted is very straightforward. It really reminds me of how Mercari used to be back in the day where it's just you list your item and that's it. By the way, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so that we will know to make more content like this. So let me know in the comments below who you still on Vinted knowing that you have to do everything manually. Let me know in the comments. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. Bye.